guys welcome to today's video and today well we, we already did it i mean i just didn't film a proper intro we went to the exhaust shop and we deleted our resonators finally so stay tuned let me show you guys around the exhaust and stay tuned for how it sounds because you guys will not want to miss this for those of you that don't know i have a cortex extreme equal length exhaust system um so yeah, let me show you guys around. So CTS VX pipe, you get rid of that L-shaped pipe. Um, that's what causes the truck sound. Of course, I have some long tube headers, and then, like I said, you have the X pipe, and then you get two pipes running all the way back until you meet with the Corsa Extremes in the back, which I will show you guys. It's these two, and let me tell you guys. The placement of these mufflers is crucial for the sound. This and that X pipe in the front is crucial for this sound. Being that this is the reason why I have the exhaust tips right here. I mean, I like I like the Corvette uh, tip style look, but no, it wouldn't be my first go to if. Um, if I had more options, but I'm limited with space because these mufflers are, they, they're, they're meant to be axle backs for a car. They do not fit in the middle like normal truck mufflers do. But then again, that's what gives it that car-like sound too, that the mufflers are not over there in the middle and they're over here in the back. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, I could either do that or just just dump dump them right there. But personally, I don't, I, I don't think that would look too good if I just had two, two dumps right there. But I mean, to each their own. And also, I mean, having them facing back diverts the sound to the back and it makes it not have any drone. I mean, it's already Corsa. So you guys already know, Corsa is amazing with zero drone. And this lives up to it. And um, yeah, let me show you guys under the hood to show you guys that I don't really have nothing special, but a cam 5.3 with a BTR stage four truck cam. Um, so, all right, let's pop the hood. There you go. All right. So here it is, Canon Colder Intake, cheap long tube headers. That's about it, to be honest. Nothing crazy. I mean, I guess the craziest part of this truck in reality is the TR6060 six-speed manual transmission and the exhaust setup it has. But yeah, I mean, I guess that's what makes it unique. Um, I guess for those of you that don't know, yes, it has a six-speed manual TR6060 six-speed manual transmission, um, AZA auto wheel, forged carbon, uh, perforated, perforated leather and um, Alcantara and then I have a 140 mile an hour gauge cluster built by the original Mike D and AZA auto trims same company but they also make trims forged carbon um, so yeah that's pretty much my the rundown of my truck in a little bit of a nutshell um, but yeah I mean Nothing, nothing too crazy, but definitely unique, I would say, if I would dare to say. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to copy the exhaust setup, by all means. Um, the X-Pipe idea, I took it from Northern Performance, but then the rest, I made it my own. I used to have the Corsa resonators, but I decided, why not? Let's... Go all the way in and yeah i'm i'm happy with the result i had the resonators for a long time because to be sincere i was nervous about if 
it being too loud because it's canned. And I mean, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Why not? You only live once. <laughs> so here are the resonators. Two core sub resonators. I mean, they did it. They did its job. Here they are. Corsa Performance. They did its job. Um, sound pretty good. I mean, I'm probably just going to end up selling them. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I don't really have another car I could throw them onto. I mean, it would be kind of cool. But um, I don't. But, yeah. I mean, great resonators. If, if you're looking to tame down your sound. And, of course, keeping the signature Corsa tone. But, yeah. Honestly, this is, this, this, let me tell you guys, this exhaust setup really shows what your 5.3 could be capable of. And I am honestly very happy I could show you guys that if you guys want a nice, crisp, loud and manageable sound, you don't, like, you don't need that 6 or you don't need that 6.2. I mean, obviously... By all means, it would sound a lot better. But I'm just saying, if if you do not have the budget to do those engine swaps, you can still make your smaller engine sound dope as fuck. Like I said, guys, I know if this truck made more power, I, I know it would sound like crazier like like when you rub it it would be more like and that would make it actually sound more like a corvette right now it kind of sounds like an underpowered corvette <laughs> i mean it kind of is it's a it's a it's a essentially it's a c6 corvette it's out of a truck body as many of you have said on tiktok but yeah yeah guys but yeah guys let's go back to yesterday and let's delete these Corsa resonators. All right. Hope you guys enjoy this video. All right. So this is going to be the last cold start with the Corsa resonators on. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. You got the dump right here? We've got this clean ass truck right here. Go down, guys. Make sure you guys go check out Valley Exhaust and Muffler Shop and Modesto. So, yeah, they're the ones that did the people rank setup on this truck over a year ago. So, yeah, um, yeah, 
it's about to sound dope now. It's fun. So this is what it sounds like without the resonators. Here are the cutouts and then the resonators, we got them in here.
guys finally got to hear what a Corsa Extreme from a 15 to 23 Mustang GT sounds like on a NBS 99 to 06 truck. Sounds like. So, yeah, I'll leave you guys with one last listen. So, all right, let's go. you guys on the next video i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button subscribe and comment for more ideas and uh, yeah um don't forget to share to your friends and anybody that you know so yeah guys i'll catch you guys on the next one stay blessed peace out